Keeping up with our motto, let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning students. A warm welcome to all the students of Thakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College. Standard Senior KG, Subject Math, Topic Time. Students, today we will learn to read time and understand how clock works. Can you see a clock here? It has numbers from 1 to 12 on it. And a clock normally has three hands. But today we will learn specifically about two hands. Over here, there is a big hand in red color which is called a minute hand. And here, there is a small hand in blue color which is called an hour hand which shows the time. Also note that time is denoted by saying o'clock after the number. For example, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock and so on. In this clock, the big hand is on number 12 and the small hand is on number 10. Thus, it shows 10 o'clock. Students, remember the big hand always has to be on number 12 and the small hand on any number to show an exact hour. Here, the big hand is on number 12 and the small hand is pointing number 2. So, this clock is showing the time 2 o'clock. Here the big hand is pointing on number 12 and small hand is pointing on number 6. So this clock is showing the time 6 o'clock. Here the big hand and the small hand both are on number 12. So this clock is showing the time 12 o'clock. Now let's learn to place the hands and show time. Here we have to show the time 3 o'clock. So let's place the big hand pointing to number 12 and a small hand pointing to number 3. Thus now this clock shows 3 o'clock. So to draw 5 o'clock first we make a big hand pointing towards number 12 and then a small hand pointing on number 5. Thus, now this clock shows the time 5 o'clock. To draw 8 o'clock, we draw big hand pointing on number 12 and the small hand pointing on number 8. Thus, now this clock is showing the time 8 o'clock. For 11 o'clock, we place big hand pointing towards number 12 and the small hand pointing towards number 11. Thus, this clock is showing the time 11 o'clock. Now, this is a homework for you. You have to read time. You just have to note down the time and write a number in the blank given below. Here, you have to draw hands to show the time. The time is mentioned down. Draw hands to show the same time. Here, you have to fill in the blank only with the word o'clock to complete the denotion of time. So students, today we learned to read time and draw the hands to show the time and to write time. Happy learning students. Thank you.